Alright guys, the next tool I'd like to go over with you is the sockets. The sockets is super helpful to use. Up in the top right corner, as you can see, there's a little word that says sockets. If you tap on that, you see this little drop down. The first one we're going to go ahead and tick is show sockets. So what this does is at the entrance of many of your prefabs, it will have these little tic-tac things. That's just what I call them. I, there's probably a better term for it. But what you do basically is click on one of the tic-tacs and connect it to another one by dragging it over. As you can tell, connecting caves are absolutely easy with this tool. Because without using this tool, if you were to manually try to rotate it and drag it together, it's going to be very time consuming and quite difficult and even still you probably won't get it perfect. So the sockets tool is very helpful in that fact. You can use the sockets tool with a number of different prefabs. I don't know exactly which ones it does not work with, however I do know it works with all of the cave parts, so if you wanted to spawn in the mining cave you can. I'm just going to spawn in a few of these just for an example. So even with the mine cave, you can still connect up all these together just by clicking on the tic tac, pressing and holding, and connecting it to the other piece. Simple as that. I'd also like to add is even whenever you're in the sockets tool, you don't have to manually rotate things. So let's say this one is 90 degrees rotated from this prefab I'm trying to connect it to. You can just click on the tic tac, drag it over here, and it will automatically rotate it for you. The last one I'd like to go over is the pipes. You can use the socket tool with this as well, which I will show you towards the end why this is super helpful. But you just basically connect the tic tacs. So doing it with the pipes is a really useful way of making it to where you have a lot of industrial decoration within an area that you're making. So as you can tell, you can quickly make some pretty industrial looking parts just out of the pipes by itself. The sockets tool is pretty easy to use. If you guys do have any more questions, please drop a comment down below on how to use it. And I will try to put more information in the description. I will also drop any of the key bindings with Rust Edit in the description as well. So in case you're not very familiar with the key bindings within Rust Edit, you can also view the description below to see those. If you guys want, you can join my Discord by clicking on the link in the description. We have a ton of helpful map makers that will gladly help you out in case you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.